June, the Boston Celtics won their 16th NBA title in triumphant fashion over a surprise opponent. The Houston Rockets had impressed everyone as the new power in the West, having crushed the Lakers before finally bowing to Boston. A new rivalry seemed to be born. This year, both Houston and Boston, to a lesser extent, are struggling. Injuries have limited the Celtics, Bill Walton in particular, the team in general. But things are worse in Houston. Injuries to both of the Rockets' twin towers, off-the-court rumors of internal friction, and the latest bombshell, two players dismissed from league play for drugs. Two teams return to the Garden for the first time since the champagne flowed last spring. But this is a new year, and the rivalry resumes with many new questions to answer. Bird in three-point range. Harris. One-on-one defense by Elijah Wan. Basket counts and a foul, and the Celtics get on the board with nearly three and a half minutes gone by in this game. Elijah Wan playing Parrish is a, a good matchup to watch because Parrish can get bounced out of the low post position. He's in the sweet spot right now, and that good up fake allows the uh, Parrish to make the shot and pick up the foul on Elijah Wan. Akeem's first and a three-point play for Parrish. Is well, Ralph kind of got lost emotionally in that final game. So that's why it'll be interesting to see how he responds in his first game back at Boston Garden after that nightmare. Bird from Ainge hits, and Larry Bird is on the board, and the Celtics lead 9-6. to six. Johnson guarded by Reed. Gambling with Sampson. Ball away by Bird. Larry Bird with his second basket of the ball game. The Celtics, by the way, have not had a losing money. Hits the shot, and Robert Reed, who had a season high of 26 against the Bulls Wednesday, brings the Rockets to within five. He's got his outside shooting touch back in order. McHale, forget that. When you look it into McHale, count it. And Kevin McHale has five. That had a first layup straight under the hoop. What a play. I'll tell you, super basketball play. And we have under two minutes now remaining in the opening period. Things heating up at Boston Garden. It's 22 to 19 Celtics, and now it's 24 as Larry Bird hits his third basket. Sampson loses the ball. He was doubled. Here is Seasting pushing it up for the Celtics. Day to Paris. Fine pass by Darren Day, and filling the lane was Paris. You now 36 to 33 Celtics. Bird. Wanted to pass into Parrish. High arcing fall away. Oh, oh, oh. Most coaches would say you're out of the game trying a shot like that. Easy to get in that doghouse for a seven foot four guy, huh? Well, you get a foot in. Samson all over Parrish. Oh, Bird. Oh, great play by Bird. Brings the Rockets to within three. McHale guarded, now doubled with Reed and Peterson. Finds the open man, Johnson, who finds a better open man than Robert Parrish. If one thing has improved for Dennis Johnson... ...have maintained the lead when they've gone to the bench, but they haven't really opened up any kind of a lead, and the Rockets have stayed in there. Good fake by Bird. Parrish, this line. Parrish with 15. Opportunities for the Celtics to double-team Akeem. Great fake, Bird on Anderson, flips to Kite. Basket counts and a foul. Here's Larry doing his thing. Little up fake. Anderson goes for it. And now Elijah Wan has to adjust, and that leaves Kite open. Elijah Wan gets back to him, but picks up the foul. And it's three on Elijah Wan. Three. Wild shot. Bird has it. Five seconds. Ainge over his shoulder. Two seconds to go. Is going to count. The basket counts. Ray Kite put it up in the nick of time. Long pass by Bird. Ainge works it down, trying to find a shot. Now goes over, but watch Kite gets nudged out of the play, 
and still converts. Sauvin got up there in the perfect spot. Minifield should have taken the shot, however, and they would have got an easy one. Two and a half minutes elapsed here in the third period. Bird with 20. And that hard push doesn't allow the double team to get down at Elijah Wine quickly. Samson tried to knock the ball away from Bird from behind. And Bird hits again. Right now it's an Elijah Wan Bird shooting match. Bird with his 23rd point. Three-point attempt by Bird. That's the way to do it if you want to really open up that game. Larry Bird had his longest three-point drought of the season. Bird fires it from three-point range and hits it with one second to play in the period, and he was falling off the court. And now, we're not done here. Mike Mathis goes over to the scorer's table. Back as Allen Level was hit with a technical foul, which will be shot as we start this fourth period. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn here at Boston Garden. Here was Larry Bird's shot. What a great pick by Robert Parrish on Maxwell to create this opening. But look at Bird right in that corner. And I'll tell you, that is one tough shot when you're totally set, let alone leaning like Larry was. Remember that 12. And the Rockets turn it over again. Bird to Seasting. Great pass by Bird to the baseline. And Seasting in stride gives the Celtics again a 20-point lead. 99 to 81. The Celtics. Seven and a half to play. Bird. When you're down on defense, Bird will shoot over you. That's